Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's look, as you can tell, is going to be a raspberry and light bronze, kind of shimmery fall, a little bit smoky look. And the shadows that I'll be using today are, of course, a few of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, as well as just a few shadows from the Lorac Pro palette. If you would like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm priming my eyes using the Lorac Pro Behind the Scenes Eye Primer using a Sigma P82 brush to blend it all in. I'm using a Morphe B19 and Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and just starting to work that into my crease and upper crease area. Then I'm going in with the same brush and some of Makeup Geek Creme Brulee and working that into the crease and upper crease area as well just to add even more warmth to the crease. Using that same brush, I am using some of Coco Bear and applying that directly into the crease just to add a little bit more definition. And this color also adds some more warmth. As always, when you're working in all the crease colors, just use windshield wiper motions and circular motions to really blend everything together. I'm using my Morphe M200 brush and a little bit of Espresso from the Lorac Pro palette and just starting to kind of dab that on to the outer V. We just want to pack this on so that the next colors that we apply will appear to be a little darker and smokier. But with the espresso shade, just remember to not bring it up very far into the crease. We mostly want to concentrate it on the outer corner or outer V of our lid. I'm using a little bit of Makeup Geek Mocha and just using that to blend out the espresso shade a little bit better. going over everything with a clean Morphe B19 brush and this will just help to really blend everything and make it seamless. Using my Morphe M200 and some of Makeup Geek's Bitten, we're going to start applying that right over the darker shade that we applied in the outer V and this is where we'll start to get that cranberry shade in the look so just really pack that on and blend it out. With my clean B19, I'm going to run that over any edges and start to work everything out and just get rid of any harsh lines. Using more of Peach Smoothie, I'm going to use that to blend everything out a little bit further. Using an angled BH Cosmetics brush and a little bit of white from the Lorac Pro palette, I'm just going to start patting that onto my brow bone and this will also help if you've accidentally brought up any of the colors a little too far. And then of course just blend everything together. Going in with my e.l.f. glitter primer and a small BH Cosmetics lip brush, I'm going to start packing and patting that onto the inner portion of the lid, bringing it in almost to the center of the lid. Going in with light bronze from the Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to start patting that onto the lid. You're only bringing this shade right to the center of the lid. I'm going in with my M200 and whatever is left on the brush and just using that to start to blend out any edges. I'm adding a little bit more of Bitten to the outer V area just to make sure that we don't lose any of that color. Just blend that all out. I'm using my Mary Kay Black Gel Liner and an angled Arbent Elf Liner brush. And I'm going to start creating my wing. I already lined my upper and lower waterline with a black liner and now I'm using my Beach Cosmetics angled brush and a little bit of espresso and packing that on right towards my lash line. Going in with Cocoa Bear, I'm going to start blending and smoking the lower lash line. Going in with Bitten as well, I'm going to use that to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more. I'm using my B19 just to make sure everything is really well blended. I already curled and added mascara to my upper lashes and now I'm just applying a pair of my favorite false lashes. I'm applying some of Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer right onto the inner corner. And moving on to lips, I'm first going to be applying Gal's Ferris Nude. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lips, of course. And you could totally get away with doing kind of like a berry lip with this as well. But today I just decided to keep it nude. And I'm also going to be blotting my lips. And then on top of that, I'm going to be applying NYX's Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. 
Alright, and here you have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think it's really pretty for fall with that hint of cranberry and then that light bronze shimmer on the lid. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new today or even if you just enjoyed it. Also, subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any video requests, please comment those down below. I will see you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye beauties!